Hey guys, welcome back to RIP Superchargers and thanks for stopping by. So what you just saw is this 2021 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack with a 6.4 liter Mega Dino Pass. It made 418 horsepower at the rear wheels. Now we know the vehicle's rated at 485 horsepower, but that's horsepower measured at the engine and the engine alone. What we're capturing here is horsepower at the rear wheel and it's very different. Uh, engine horsepower is measured at the crank and rear wheel horsepower, which is what this is, is measured at the rear wheel, which means all the drivetrain loss is built in. So generally vehicles lose between 10 and 15% drivetrain loss on rear wheel drive cars and a little bit more on all wheel drive cars. And they demonstrate that on our dyno all the time. You can go check out all of our videos on YouTube and you'll see that we do a before and after and you see that 10 to 15 number is pretty popular and it is what it is. Okay, so this vehicle is here to test a new product of ours and that's what we're really excited about. We have a new ignition product. Uh, we have a high performance ignition program already that's very popular for the V6 Dodge cars, Challengers, Chargers, 300s, mostly the Jeeps. All those guys really are having a great time with that product, but now we have one for the Hemi. Actually, we were asked by the community if we could make one for them, and we have. So what we have here in front of me is basically the original prototype that we tested for over a year now, about 18 months. It's been out in a couple of different vehicles, some 5.7s, uh, both Challengers, Chargers, and also in Dodge 1500s, and they've reported great things with it. As a matter of fact, we just launched uh, a video about a week ago, maybe two of the 5.7 Challenger right on this dyno making some horsepower and we explained how it worked there so you can check that one out as well. But now we've got the production units in stock. So the production units are basically the same internal. We made a few different changes but it's not really relevant here. Uh, but it all has to do with longevity. Now ignition coils aren't like this huge rocket science thing. We didn't reinvent the world uh, you know, here. So they're basically spark amplifiers. So a signal comes in, it needs to be amplified and it needs to reach the spark plug. So what it does here is basically, uh, well, it's capacitive discharge. So that's basically how it works, right? You, you have a spark plug at the other end, think of it as a speaker and you have an amplifier. So it's amplifying spark instead of sound. Uh, the factory, a question that we get all the time, so let me interject here for, for a second, is if you can make the coil so much better, why doesn't the OEM do it? Well, the OEM coil has been around since 2005, and they've been making something since 2005, and they make it the way they make it because it's cheap to make it that way. So what we're doing is actually just making it a lot better. There's a bunch of components in here that we can make better. The quality of the winding, the quality of the uh, you know, internal units, uh, and just basically the way it develops energy, uh, even down to the, uh, the urethane that you use in here, can, can discharge heat a little differently. So all those little things make this product a lot better. But what are we promising? So basically, uh, Spark needs to be able to be more powerful from very low RPM to very high RPM. We guarantee a 20% increase in power at the Spark plug all the way to redline, which means at lower RPM, you could actually have as much as a 40% gain. And then as you ask more demand out of that coil, you know, it'll go all the way to top. But we always have more power at the coil, and that's what's really important. Now, how does that translate to power? And, you know, there's a lot of people who say, you know, it doesn't work, it's snake oil, and we get it, but we keep demonstrating it over and over, and our clients, I urge you, again, to go to our website, www.ripmods.com, check out the uh, coil program that we have for other vehicles, and read the reviews. There's pictures of the people using the product, so they're real people, and they put in their reports, and they, they like it, good or bad, it's there, so... In your car, basically, there's a bunch of fuel unspent at low RPM. When you have more spark there, you're going to basically explode it, right? Your engine's an air pump. And the way it works is there's air and there's fuel and it needs a spark in order to light that fire and then have that piston and engine go through its rotation. By having more spark, you're able to ignite more fuel and make more power. And that's really all we're going to demonstrate here. So, uh, well, I guess that's really all we need to discuss, but we'd like to be able to engage in conversation. So if you have a question, please go in the comments and we'll address it in real time. You know, we're very, we very much welcome questions like this because we're here to help. Um, but this vehicle is strapped down. We have installed our, uh, our performance coils and we'd like to maybe demonstrate what it could do. So let's go make some noise on a dyno and reconvene at the uh, screen. All right, V8 always sounds so good on the dyno. I love the way they scream through the RPM. They just have that sound that you just, you know, you can't emulate out of another thing. Well, arguably, there are some other engines that I really like the way they sound, but 6.4s always sound so good on a dyno. 
So what do we got here? You're seeing a number, 446.6. That's uh, actually uh, the fourth pass that we made and not the highest pass that we made, but it's consistent. So that's really what I wanna show. The original pass that came in here that we showed before when we opened up this video is number two here, which is these two blue lines right here. Okay, that's the 418 horsepower uh, and, and torque is over here. So this torque uh, peaked out somewhere over here at 5,300 and is looking at about to be 400. And now there's two lines here, believe it or not, this sort of pinkish red and this brown are running over each other for consistency. That's after we installed the uh, rip coils, the high performance coils. And you could see that there's an elevated performance here, right? Because they're much higher than the blue lines that are below it. Okay. So we have a torque number and a horsepower number. And you could see here, these are, uh, you have about 20 to 25 horsepower gain here in horsepower all across the board. And if you look at this dip here, which is in the factory tuning, we don't really know what this is. This, if we had like our logging on, we could see what's going on over there. So, uh, but at this point, you could see that that smoothed it out as well. And we stayed above it the entire way. There's no part, point where this vehicle sort of lost horsepower with our mod on there. Then we made another pass, number four here, which is uh, the red line, which is what you see prominently here. And you can see this right above it as well. So your gain is 30 horsepower about at the rear wheel, right? So you've got horsepower at high RPM, but you've also got all this low gain as well, which normally that would be unspent fuel that would go right out the exhaust. So you're actually gonna get more out of your money as well there. Now we can't promise you that you're gonna get better MPG, but there's report after report of clients gaining between one and two more MPG. And in a car like this, we know, you know you'll see that 11 MPG all the time. So if you're gaining one or two, hey, it's uh, money in pocket there. So uh, I hope that uh, you, know, you enjoyed this video and that we demonstrated to you how these things work and we explained them to you. If you want more information, please visit www.ripmods.com or just comment down below or check out all the Instagrams and the Facebooks where Happy to answer a question wherever you feel that you need to ask that question or just give us a call. We pick up the phone too. Thanks for stopping by.